Hello, and welcome to Slay Down Slay. This is my beautiful wife, Leslie. Hi, I'm Jim Keith. And today, we're going to be doing book revisions. Don't forget, House of Ribbons coming out real soon. It's in the editing, I mean, the publishing process now. As soon as I get a release date, I'm going to be like, ah, here it is. Release date, constantly. So, the shirts. quick question for you. Yes. When you're ready to self-edit your manuscript, what is the first thing you need to do when you put the last words on your thing? What is the first thing? My my personal opinion is when I put the period on the end of the book, uh, I, I I don't like to touch it for a couple of days, week or so. Mm -hmm. Then I start making notes. I would make notes on the other books, uh, uh, the other book that I'm going to do, and like, hey, this is what I want to do today. Keep that stuff fresh during that week, and then I go back to the book that I had just finished, and I take a very slow 11 to 14 day read. And I read each line like this. Oh yeah, I am definitely stupid. How the hell did I make that mistake? Okay, you're going ahead. That's what the question was, is yeah. you set it aside. Uh, that's, that's what I do. So the next question is, is when you're editing, do you read it out loud? Uh, sometimes I read it out loud for dramatic effect. Awesome. Cindy, I can't believe you ate my Cherry pie. Okay. I was saving it for later. So, but you also read it out loud because you can find mistakes that way too. Yeah, yeah. Uh, cause sometimes my wife and I will go back and forth. She was like, there's no is. I'm like, what are you talking about? Cindy went to the store and is in the rain. She, and because your mind will see words on the page that is not really there, which they will not tickle tickle. So, um, <laughs> uh, Yes, so you want to read it out loud because sometimes you'll find it. Or find somebody to help you, like we do. Yeah, but you might not. You might not trust anybody enough, which is good. So what I recommend to those people who are real solitary about their work, uh, I read really slow when it comes to this. I, I really try to put myself in a different personality. Um, and just I read it real slow and I go, oh, dude, what is wrong with you, man? You're like, do you, how many spelling errors you're going to have at once? Like, it's double click and then... You're, Right click and fix. Okay, so my next question for you is, is do you search, you search for troubling words like there, there, and there? Uh, um, what, two and stuff like that? The ones that have multiple meanings. T-O-O, two. Yes. The uh, multiple meanings, but they mean the same thing, just spelled dear, differently. Read. Dear English language. <laughs> Thank you for giving me nine words that all mean the same, but then don't mean the same thing, you know? <laughs> it's such a joy to work with the English language. And then my question, another next question is: Is do you look at words that you use over and over? And oh over my god! Again? In the first book, I couldn't stop seeing the word shoulder. <laughs> I don't know what it was. It was just the word shoulder. Maybe it's because I just come off a really I had my shoulder reworked. I had a really extensive surgery, front and the back, to rebuild some stuff, and uh, so you know you got the six million dollar man. I was like the six and a half cent man. <laughs> No, so, but it's probably because of that, that every time I had to write the word shoulder, could you write the word shoulder and tongue? And he reached over and touched her shoulder. And every time I touched shoulder, it, it was like a different color in my mind. I'm like, and then one day I searched it and it was like 400 times. It was at the end of the book. I'm like, Jesus, criminy. I've used this word a lot. And then I got started getting obsessive about words and I've just, how many times have I, you search it, just, Write something that's 200,000 words and then search a random word and you'd be like, wow, I use that word a lot. So my next question for you is, is when you are editing, doing your editing, do you look for problematic punctuation? Oh man, some people are born to be good at punctuation. Other people are like me. <laughs> Welcome to the club. My name's Keith and I am stupid. <laughs> am I stupid for a reason? Yeah, I didn't probably pay attention enough in English. I was really good at wrestling, not tooting my own horn, but beepity beep beep. My uh, wrestling coach was math teacher, so for four years I did not uh, go to math at all. Uh, so I guess I didn't pick up anything in English either because I didn't know how to use a comma, when to use a comma. I didn't know. There was a lot of, and a lot of people who write go to school for this. I didn't go to school for this. I went to school to be a police officer, and then I was injured. Couldn't become that. And, and then uh, then I got a four-year degree in paralegal studies, and then had a woman tell me that I was too big to sit behind a desk. She was like, nobody wants a 220-pound guy the size of you. And I'm not a heavyset guy. I'm just a big dude. Uh, uh, 
she said it was she like you be unnerving. So I do work as a paralegal. You know, I work. My wife and I work for the same boss. He's a guy. He's a great guy, Dave. And uh, uh, but it, it's another reason why it got me into writing. I got off track. What the hell am I talking about? Okay, so we're gonna go on to the next one. Um, do you run spell check or any other grammar? Yeah, I'm not a big thing? Grammarly fan because uh, maybe I'm too stupid to know how to use it. But Grammarly only corrects so many mistakes a month. Uh, and then it'll finally say, hey, dumb, dumb. Yeah, yeah, you're too many. And so I, I don't really, I don't like that. And I don't like the, the way that the... But you do run an editing program on Word. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I That's do. what was the question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You you got that. It was like, it would tell you if the word's wrong. And then you, there's a software and you click it over here on the left. And then it tells you all the places where you're a dum-dum. And it's because your fingers are going to move fast. Don't fix every word don't oh what don't uh, uh don't don't do that wait till you get to the uh, if you have to do it quick wait till you get to the end of the page and then do that or wait till you get to the end of the chapter and hit that thing let the machine do the work for you but learn oh you know i keep making this mistake random mistake uh which turns into a habitual mistake you know for me i'm always trying to learn I, you know and i spend more time on youtube sometimes in writing figuring out the writing process, because like I said, I don't have an English degree, so I don't know the proper way and style of using the English language. So my next question for you is, is then do you, when you are done with your manuscript, do you format it correctly? Yeah, I mean, no. why wouldn't you? No, I don't know. I don't. I understand her question. I tried to. So you're there. supposed to format. It's twi Times New Roman, twelve point font, on one inch margins. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, yeah. You're going to hand it over to your, your, your editing team. And they're going to change it all they're the They're going to be like, because I, I picked a font I really liked. And they're like, nope. And I'm like, well, why not? And they're like, here's why not. Because everybody else swims in the same way and you're trying to swim over there. You get to pick the font of your book. You get to pick the, uh, um, the uh, chapter. Like, you know, mine will say the chapter, the number. And then the chapter, I'm a big fan of chapter titles, love chapter titles. You get to pick that, then you get to pick the... Drop caps. Yeah, drop caps. That is the very first letter of the very first word in your chapter. You get to pick the fonts of the act. You get, but other than that, it's Times New Roman 12. Yep. So just do what everybody else does because that's just how it is. So my last question for you is, when do you know when you're done self-editing? Are revising a book you can revise the absolute ever-living shit out of it why not my average book is revised for me three times sometimes a fourth and I am going to set book five aside uh, come Monday and I'm gonna take 11 days to go back through book uh, three and it will be its fourth revision simply because I am very soon to hand it off to the editor again so in other because words I, I hand off to the editor when she gives me my first round, I get my two months to edit the book. They immediately go into starting the new book. So we're piggybacking so I don't have, it doesn't take a year to put each book out. I'm trying to make it so it's close at about nine months. So what the answer to your question is, is when you're ready to turn it over to the editor and you yeah, think it's... when you feel ready. That's why I say revise the hell out of it. I'm, so and I'm only revising... To, you're not going to cherry pick everything on the book. It's okay. just when you think that, okay, it's ready to go. Everything you, you write... And especially when you work closely with an editor like like I do, you learn. So for me, when I go back to book three, I'm going to apply. Like, here's something stupid uh, you might not know that I definitely didn't know till the other day. Like two days ago. So I'm going to give you the sentence. Sally went to the store. You would put a period. Oh, shit. I did that wrong already. No. Oh, my gosh. Okay. I got it. Sally so you want to say it says parentheses. Today is a beautiful day, period, quotation marks, said Keith. Or is it quotation marks, today is pretty, comma, quotation marks, said Keith. Yeah, see, I thought it was the period one. No, it's comma. I said it was a nice day, comma, and parentheses, said Keith, period. That's bonkers to me. That looks bonkers. That makes me literally want to smash the keyboard. I don't know why it angers me, but that's one of the weird things that anger me. And I don't get angry easily. I swear to God, I don't. <laughs> no, I don't. But I'm learning all this new shit when it comes to the English language. And I'm like, English. English is terrible. 
It is. Like, writing English is terrible. You it's know, like, like your little fit. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, she knows. I just go on. <laughs> So that is all we have for you today. So if you like our content, go ahead and hit the like and subscribe button below. And if you can go ahead and just, even if you just share this video, one video, if a bunch of you share it, it helps you to put us into the recommended list. And give your brother a hand. Take my hand. Take it. Take it. And if you'd like updates on the book, go ahead and follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Tumblr. Yep. And that is all we have for you today, so we'll see you next time. Bye! Have an amazing day.